everyone, I'm Mark Sievers, and today I'm gonna to show you how to make puff pastry croutons. So puff pastry is really daunting to make from scratch, so I like to buy it frozen. It's a little hack there that I love. And the best thing about puff pastry is that you just let it defrost overnight in the refrigerator, and mm, it smells like pure butter, which who doesn't love butter? And for my puff pastry croutons, you really don't even need to roll it out. You just take it out of the package and lay it onto a lightly floured surface. Let me give you a little overhead action. And as you can see, I'm not even gonna roll it out. I think it's the perfect thickness just as it is. And for croutons, you can really make them in any shape you'd like. You can make them and you can uh, sprinkle it with salt and pepper and then cut it into little squares. You can make it into any shape you'd like. I'm gonna use a little round cutter. So I have a little pile of flour here. And I have a straight side and a fluted side. I'm gonna use the little fluted side for a little extra finesse and pizzazz. And the idea with puff pastry when you're working with it, you wanna work with it fairly quickly because you don't want it to get warm. It can be really hard to work with. So as you can see, I'm just cutting out little circles here and I'm putting it onto a half sheet pan that I have lined with parchment paper. And this is a wonderful addition. You can float these on top of a stew or a soup. You can put them onto, of course, a salad. I even sometimes serve them as dessert with on, on the side of a little scoop of ice cream. You can serve them at dinner time as a little side instead of a bread. You can serve these with a little soft, soft salted butter. It's really delicious. And I kind of like the fluted shape. It reminds me of a little French patisserie that you'd find in on the streets of Paris, which I think is absolutely adorable. And who doesn't like anything super cute? So you can see this goes pretty quickly. I'm not being too careful. I'm not really rushing. I'm just kind of doing it as quickly as possible. You can use those scraps for other, other things. You can roll it out a little bit and make different shapes of extra croutons. And then I'm just gonna brush this with a little bit of egg wash. My egg wash is one extra large beaten egg with a little splash of water. And what this is gonna do is make the top of the croutons beautifully shiny, but it's also going to help adhere the salt and pepper to this. And this is kind of a crucial part, so don't skip this step. The other thing that I love about this is that you can really use this particular base for a plethora of other things. So for right now, I'm gonna use salt and pepper. You can also sprinkle it with Parmesan cheese, Gruyere cheese, all kinds of things. So it also makes a lovely little canapé. And then for black pepper, I have freshly cracked black pepper. I like it nice and kind of very, very coarsely cracked. I like that you can see the pepper. That's beautiful. And then I have some French fleur de sel, which is a beautiful French sea salt. It's very briny, it's very soft. The texture is great, and I think it's perfect for these salt and pepper croutons. So, Et voila, salt and pepper crouton. So I'm gonna go put these into the oven. And luckily, I already have some that are done. So as you can see, these are perfectly golden brown, nice and puffy and mm, beautifully flaky, crisp and buttery. If you liked this video, which I hope you did, Subscribe to my channel, let's be puff pastry friends. And head over to marksievers.com where you can get this recipe, many others, and of course, lots of kitchen tips and tricks. Until next time, bye. Time for a little sip of wine. Mm. French wine, French puff pastry, <laughs> et voila, bye.